What's up YouTube? And today is day 25. 25 of Papa Day. We're almost done with the month of June. Almost done the month of June. Yes, I ran behind. So today is actually 6 to 6. Uh, Disney fans know what that means. But I'm on day 25. So oh, let's get into the Papa today. Actually, did you hit that like button? Because you need to go hit that like button. And then while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. You know, follow me along for these magical journeys. Um, I think I'm going to post some more just Funko and some just some vacation stuff. And have a little fun with this channel. Um, I got videos. Um, I need to edit and post some stuff when we're on a vacation. And I want to kind of share the Disney stuff on here on top of it. So, hope you guys enjoy those whenever they happen. I feel like a lot of things. When it happens, it happens. Hope you guys enjoy it. But... Let's get today's pop. Today is today's pop 25 for June. And it is the only pop I actually bought from this series. I mean, I got the exclusive ones that they just released. But I only wanted this one pop. And it's not because I thought it was the best pop. Not because I thought it was the only pop worth getting. Because I think they're all worth getting. Um, funny story. Um, I placed a pre-order with a small company. I did not kind of, I did not do reviews of the company beforehand, but I they, they no longer exist. Boxzilla pre-ordered the entire set, got it for decent was supposed to what was supposed to be a decent price. They shut their doors, went out of business, and ran away with everybody's money. So be careful of who you buy with because these small mom and pop pop businesses are either a scamming you for money or b scamming you for money because they need the money to close their doors. Um, so be careful. Read reviews, see what's going on with these small companies, because I got scammed trying to get this entire set, and now I don't think I'm getting any more of them because some of them, I don't know. But, is what it is. I still might get a set. I might look into it, but I don't want to pay more than retail for them. But let's talk about who we don't talk about. I got the Bruno Magical. This is the only one I really liked. I really liked the Bruno character from the movie. I watched it a hundred times. No, get me wrong. Maribel was great. Isabella was great. Luisa was great. Julia, the mom, was great. Antonio was fun. And Abuela was a pain in everybody. <laughs> you know what she was. Anyway, I got the Bruno one. This is the Bruno from Encanto. This was the one everyone was hunting for originally. Um, this pop at one time was like reselling for like 60, 70 bucks. Should have never been that high. I paid retail for it. I paid the 15 for it. Um, but I have it now in my collection, which means we open Bruno. But it was a good series. I mean, look, 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 at, look. They had all the major characters. You can't really go wrong. If you put this set together, you did it right. You did it right. You sh because I think this set was well worth putting together. 100%. 100% I think this set was put, worth putting together. I have Maribel Glow in the Dark and I have Bruno Bru Bruno Glow in the Dark. I did get both of those. Not because I thought they'd be worth millions just because they're glow in the dark and I need more glow in the dark pops. But Bruno only bad part with Bruno was he his glow in the dark was the exact same mold as his common. So this is common one. That's not glow in the dark. Nothing special. But his glow in the dark is the exact same mold. So if you want to choose between the two I would say get the glow in the dark one, unless you really want the original Bruno, Bruno Pop. Now, there's nothing wrong with the Bruno Pop. He's an awesome pop. He's well made, well resembles his little mouse friend, his foot. Like I like the fact that he kind of puts foot. Like he has this nervousness going on. And the hair. He does come with a stand because he has small feet. And he has that weird, like I think you can kind of see what that weird foot going up like that. But yeah, he has this, like, he actually made it kind of ragged on the back, so it's not, like, perfectly done. I, I love the movie. I love the pops. I wish I got the complete set. I still might go for him, but this is such a good movie. If you have not seen it yet, what are you waiting on? Encanto was a great movie. The songs get stuck in your head. You sing them for hours. You can probably relate to one of the characters along the line. This is a great movie with great pops, and they have other... And not just Funko. There's other figures out there that are great for this this movie. Go watch it. Go find yourself some type of Encanto collectible because you won't regret it. 
I know right now they just I think they just put Bruno in Disneyland recently, and they're bringing him to Disney World. I saw they were doing, they were casting for him, so he's coming to Disney World for a meet and greet. That's gonna be exciting. I I think that'd be fun. I wonder how he, I wonder how this character is gonna act. Yes, I know, it's someone playing a character, but yeah. When it comes to Disney, we all know this, but we all love the fact that our inner child can get a hold of something and get a hug from someone, something, or someone that we loved as a kid. So anyway, great pop, great movie. Go check out Encanto. Go get the Funko Pop. And that's all I got for you today. So make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and until next time, take it easy. Have a good one. Peace.